Hey guys, this is Steve Good over at the Scroll Saw Workshop. I mentioned on the blog the other day that I would take you through the steps of how I use the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil to create scroll saw uh, portrait style patterns. Uh, so that's what this video is going to be tonight. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. This is not going to going to exactly be a tutorial as much as it is just a demonstration so um, uh, I won't show you all the details of the program I'm going to use because it, it's just going to make this video too long but I just want to show you the technique and then uh, it's pretty easy to pick this up if you have the uh, hardware that you need. I'm going to be using this uh, portrait of Harrison Ford and his character as Han Solo as an example uh, but obviously you could use any family uh, portraits that you have. You do want a fairly high resolution image for this type of pattern. Uh, so for instance a uh, file directly out of your digital camera will be plenty big enough but if you just pick up a uh, image off of uh, Google or someplace like that and it's too small you won't have very good luck with this technique. So let me show you the finished pattern first. Here is uh, what Hans is going to look like after we get the uh, pattern completed. And of course you will cut the black area out with your scroll saw. And the finished product uh, with a black background will look like this. The hardware I'm going to use for this project tonight is the iPad Pro 2nd generation and the Apple Pencil. Uh, now the good news is the uh, newer iPads uh, that are actually cheaper than the iPad Pro uh, were recently released and they now are also compatible with the Apple Pencil. Uh, the Apple Pencil is a $100 uh, additional cost to the iPad, uh, but it's really a magnificent tool, uh, especially if you do any design work or uh, any art type work at all. It's, uh, it's really an amazing piece of equipment. The application we're going to be using to create this pattern uh, tonight is named Procreate. Uh, it is a $9.99 app that you can download from the Apple App Store. Uh, just go to the App Store, type in Procreate in the search and you'll find it. Uh, it's an amazing piece of software uh, if you're an artist, but it's also equally as good if you like to design scroll saw patterns. Once we get the app installed, we can create a canvas any size we want. So I'm going to create a nice high resolution canvas uh, on an 8.5 by 11 inch uh, background that is uh, at least 180 dpi. Uh, this gives us a nice large uh, image to work with and it also lets us import the image and print it out uh, on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. Okay, after we get our canvas created, the next step is to import the picture into the canvas, which I've already done here. Uh, I won't go into the details of that, but it's pretty simple. Then uh, I created a new layer on top of the image that I'm actually going to draw on. So we're going to draw on a transparent layer on top of the actual photo. Uh, and this way we can erase the photo uh, without, um, or erase the pattern without uh, erasing the actual image itself. Uh, it also allows us at the end to delete the photo layer and only have the pattern left. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. Uh, so it's just as simple as taking your Apple Pencil and tracing around the dark or the shadow areas uh, of the photograph. And you can see I'm zoomed in uh, really close here on uh, his right eye and I'm simply tracing around the shadow area of the eye. Uh, now I'm going to move around uh, or down to the uh, nose and uh, the uh, smile lines uh, beside his nose and again I'm just simply uh, tracing the dark areas. I am using a little artistic judgment uh, as far as what to trace and what not to trace, uh, but you can make these as simple or as complex as you like. Uh, you do want to try to make sure that the you have at least one area that's large enough to get your drill bit in uh, for your starter hole for your scroll saw blade. Uh, but other than that, you can add as much detail as you like. Uh, so again, I'm going through here and just uh, filling in these dark areas. And uh, I can leave a small line like you can see that I've done here on the left side of his nose. Uh, 
uh, knowing that I've got a big enough area right there at the bottom of the nose to do my starter hole and I can use my spiral blade uh, to just uh, cut along that line. I'm using uh, a drag and drop technique to drag a black color to fill in uh, the area that I'm tracing here. Moving on to the uh, left eye now. And again, it's pretty clear. You can see that uh, I'm just simply tracing around the dark areas. I'm just going to move around the photograph, uh, rotating, zooming in, zooming out uh, to get the, the best handle I can on uh, tracing with the pencil. You may have noticed that I'm using a half glove on my right hand. Uh, this is to help uh, make the palm rejection of the iPad a little stronger. Uh, it does a pretty good job anyway, but you want to be able to lay your hand uh, on the surface of the iPad without it creating any false strokes, and that's what that is for. Uh, you can purchase those on Amazon. Here you're going to see that I'm making a decision to change the pattern, so I'm just using the uh, the uh, undo feature to get rid of that little piece that I put under the nose. As you design these patterns, you're going to go back and forth drawing and redrawing areas, so don't hesitate to use the undo uh, button over on the left side of the application. Uh, there's a lot of times when it's just better to start over than to try to fix it. You can see here again, I decided that uh, that uh, shape wasn't working out, so I just uh, did the undo uh, and started over and uh, worked on getting a better shape that uh, will be easier to cut. I'm going to jump ahead a little ways now into the pattern. Uh, try to keep some of the tedium of watching these, uh, drawing these lines away from you. Um, I'm jumping into the section of the hair now because a lot of times this is what people will find the most challenging. And I use a technique in hair uh, that's a fairly simplified technique where I just draw these peaks uh, and I try to make sure that I'm following uh, the pattern that the hair uh, actually grows in around, uh, around the head. Uh, so you can see I'm just drawing these peaked shapes following the uh, direction of the hair uh, and uh, following the, the darker areas of the hair also. It works pretty well. It's a little bit of an artistic look and you can be more detailed in these if you like. Another trick I'll do throughout the uh, designing of the pattern is to turn the photo layer on and off so I can see what the pattern looks like. I'm just going to continue working my way uh, through the rest of the image, uh, drawing my shapes and coloring them in. Um, a lot of this is just decision making on what to trace and what not to trace. Start out doing very simple patterns. Uh, make large shapes. Uh, I think you'll find that the cut pattern can actually still look uh, quite a bit like the individual without trying to get too detailed. Then you can move on to the more complicated patterns. One thing you can do when you get the pattern done if you want to save on ink a little bit is you can go back and change the color of uh, the black to a darker gray or something like that just to save on ink a little bit. I don't always do this because printing it out in black often looks fine. Sorry about a few of the video glitches we're having here. Uh, my iPad uh, recording software and my desktop uh, video editing software are not compatible very well. It's caused a few glitches, but I think you get the idea. Um, at the end, once you get this pattern finished, uh, Procreate has several exporting features that you can use to export the uh, photograph out. Uh, or you can send it directly to a printer. I will typically uh, export it as a JPEG and then uh, move it over to my desktop because it's uh, usually a lot easier to print from your desktop. So that is how you create a portrait style pattern on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. Uh, I would not recommend anyone going out and buying uh, this combination of hardware just to create portrait style patterns because you can do this all on your desktop. Uh, you can even do this tracing with the mouse on the desktop. But the Apple Pencil just makes it so much easier. Uh, so if you're going to own an iPad anyway, which many of us do, uh, and you can afford the extra $100 for the Apple Pencil, this is something that, uh, that is a lot of fun to do. So I hope this was uh, a helpful demonstration for you, and uh, I appreciate you watching this and being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop.